Hey, why on land, Silent Majority. Welcome back. I am Nasta Boss, and today, level 5 writing. Level 5L. This is what we're titling Incorporating AI into your story, or how to use AI into your story. This is very simple. We're going to start with like covers and with covers you can just now i'm not saying just do it you were incorporating it so if you want you can ai generate like the background and then a main like the main character if you've described if you followed all my steps you should be able to Take what you made for your main character, put them into an AI ge a photo generator, and have them spill out the character. And then you can, like, photo correct in, like, Photoshop or, or, uh, what's it called? Hurt? Kita? Krita. You could do it in, like, um, Photoshop or Krita. If you need to, if you need like image correct or whatever, or generate like images and stuff, like maps and whatnot, and then just like correct it in like Photoshop or Illustrator or what have you. That's the point here. So if we take it from me, I I go to these and I just design um, characters. For uh, my, uh, what do you call it? Not my stories, for uh, my D&D campaign. So this was like a young boy. This was, sorry. This is for like a young small boy for like the town of Waterdeep. This was for like a blood hunter. This one's gonna be an important thing later down the line. This one's also another little boy. This one's actually really good. I like this one, but it's two characters. I just need one. This one's also really nice. He looks a little too old in this one. This guy looks like he's in his 20s, 20s, 12, 10. I love all these. Oh, this guy. This guy. This guy's my old, um, what do you call it? My old, my old PC. This was, a uh, Aegil Iron Sun. My half health. Wait, did I, I thought I did this one. Except I gave him, like, a red jacket. But this one was actually really good. This might be, like, someone else. He has a very Irish look to him. He's the Gaelic gladiator. Um, I had... Wasn't there one here where he was, like, smaller? He had, like, go goggles. I think it was this guy. Oh, yeah, that has to be him. Because then we have, like, Shaq and... Shaq and Jacques. Oh, th this, this is giving me memory lane vibes. And this is about, like, my recent PC. Who... Uh, no. Not PC. He's my... He's an NPC. He's got... He's like the... He's like Gene Starwind, but he uses cards in, in a gun instead. It's kind of neat. And now we're going to get into ChatGPT. Probably one of the best um, assistants out there. So first off, we got a GPT for everything. Uh, we do have really good image generators. Where is... So if I did... Fantasy... Uh, wait. Did I, do I not have one here? Oh, 
Hold on, let me think. Wait. Interesting. Fantasy map cater. Yeah, we can go into these fantasy illustrator. I don't know which one I did for my first one. Hold on, let's go here. Character writer. So many GPTs. I think the first one I did was illustrator. And I'm going to ask, um, draw, draw, draw for me a, a port, a, draw me a, a folk port town. Yeah, draw me a full port town with a space raft docked. Nearby. And let's see what happens. Oh, then I requested to be landscaped. I was wondering why I didn't draw this on my, uh, on that other one. Ooh, see, look at that. This is so cool. But now you're like, okay, now, how, now, why are we using this? Well, what we can do with this is we're like, yeah, I had like a temp, you can tell someone, uh, like when you're publishing your book, you're like, hey, I, I generated a bunch of images with AI. I picked a few that I thought were good. Can we at least have something that looks kind of like this? And then you have like a lame drawn out version that you made and say, can we have it in this style? But with my exact map. That way we can fuse the two together. So you can get someone else to do it because, let's face it, not everyone's going to draw like this with this level of speed. This is just for you to get an idea and then you can give the idea to someone and then they could spend a month if they're good um, working on a project, something in this style. Yeah. The ship is sick. I love that. I'm going to send this to my teacher. Um, so that's that. And now, it, now you're probably like, okay, so that's for that. Well, what about writing? We do have other GPTs. Primarily for writing. Except they're all like taking notes and how to write like a human or... Writing your CV and cover letter. I'm like, oh wait, that's kind of good. Video generators. Why, why would we need this? But hey, it could be useful. And then book creator software. A writing assistant specializing in book creation, web research, format recommendations. Chio Young. Interesting. And I'm working on one for similar stuff. It's not ready yet. But the, the crooks for this here is that with GPTs now, in fact, I'll show off the one I've been working on. This is Writer's Companion. The main thing I'm going to do now is that I put my guide here. So that when I wanted to write for me, it's going to write in my style. So that thing you saw in like a couple parts ago, 
it's going to be able to do that. Actually, I'm starting to think I don't really need Dolly Generation, but hey, it doesn't matter. You kind of want them all on anyway, just in case. And here, a supportive guide offering analysis and feedback to its readers, to its writers, with an ability to internalize documentation, information, and ensure holistic comprehension. And for me, I was giving this, I, I'm, I'm kind of giving it a hard time. We do have enough for like 8,000 words. So this is kind of what um, I've been adding to my GPT to make it more and more consistent. I haven't added actions or additional settings because honestly I don't really need it also I want to add one thing to this before we go over uh, documentation and whatnot I'm pretty sure you can only upload about 10 documents to this they can be excel documents pdfs word documents etc they can't be videos though videos break these gpts like the maximum video size it could probably handle is like five minutes. And then to create, you can do the process through here and like it'll automate shit for you. And now we're going to get into um, everything else. Whoa, that scared me for a sec. Give me a sec. Okay, good. It's not seeing that. Alright, so if I'm going to down, if I'm going to install a story, I'm going to go into you know, the books. Whoa! I don't want you there. Let's go in with um, Legacy of Magic. Um... So in Legacy we have oh boy I'm getting really tired. Power through man, power through. So in Legacy of Magic I want give me a give me a, a rating out of ten. Sorry. Please review please rev review this this document. Mm. Please review this story in its please do this story holistically and provide a a rating out of ten. Thank you. Be polite as well. That's one thing we gotta do. Character development, 6 out of 10. Oh, wow. Six point five out of 10. So it'll, I think it, it helps and you ask for what you want. When you do please and thank you, the, uh, the, I'm finding the AI tends to function as intended better than just keep lamp, than when you keep lampooning it. Don't lampoon, please and thank you. And my dialogue's where I'm weakest at. Uh, wait. Pipsqueak, shut up, is informal? 
I mean, that's not slang. That's just how people tend to talk sometimes. It's kind of weird that you're giving me flack for this. Sure, whatever, we'll... We can upgrade that when we upgrade that. So we do have other things like to go on, but effectively, not only is Riders Companion going to be available, not until I can get it consistent. I also... I'm going to promote this because it is my teacher. If you or your school ha are... Sorry, if you're... A student uh, with a uh, neural divert who's on uh, the autism spectrum or is neurally uh, diverse. Your teacher and you're planning to teach neurodiverse children. You're the principal of the school, and and why not try? Um, what was this thing called? On. Give me a second. Here we are. Look. Learning and Evaluation Neurodiverse Adults. Alright. Let's see. Guide teachers and job coaches in creating content for neurodiverse adults. Employment goals. How do I still work on managing blah blah blah? What are some effective teaching methods for a class on time management? <laughs> Can you suggest some evaluation criteria for a course? You know what? Let's see what this is. Let's test this out. Let's partake. So my evaluation man. Joining up a realistic search development, job search development program. Ooh! Look at that. And it's still going. Look at that. Um, drop a realistic job search development plan criteria. Letters of interest and follow up letters correctly. Sure. This criteria and rubric will help assess the competency of neurodiverse adults in job search skills, ensuring they are prepared for real life job search situations and workplace inter interactions. It's like, um,. Um, well, actually, I want to test this out. Let's see if, uh, this has been integrated yet. Um. If it's in your, if it's in your knowledge. If it's in your knowledge, please tell me. Uh, please, uh, give me 10, uh, 10 questions and enter your may ask of me.
Alright. That's pretty cool. What do you see? Yourself? Yeah. We tackle this. Do you have any questions for us? Alright, let's let's follow up on that. On um, do you have any questions for us? Is asking you were to hire me right now. How will you best utilize my skills? A viable question. If so, what kind of response should I be looking for as should I be looking for? Yes, asking if you were to hire me right now, how would you best use my skills is a viable, insightful question. So as you eager is to contribute effectively to the team and whoa. To your wait, whoa, what the hell happened to my Oh there we go. So I, I was reading I was reading this this popped up and it completely messed me up, but I thought it was here. Can you understand how strengths can be applied to the organization? Here's what you should look for when in a response. Alignment with the job description. Response should reflect the, the key responsibilities and duties outlined in the job description and indicates that the interviewer has a clear plan for how their skills will fit into the role. Specific examples. The interviewer can should provide specific examples in, of tasks, projects, or areas of, where your skills would particularly be valuable. This shows that they have thoroughly considered your potential contributions, opportunities for growth, integration into the team, impact on goals and objectives. Example responses to look for your experiences with X and team collaboration would be crucial for upcoming for upcoming initiatives. We plan to involve you in managing cross functional projects that require strong coordination skills, stuff like that. Given your background in digital marketing, we would utilize your expertise to revamp our social media strategy and drive our next campaign. We see potential in your creative approach to boost our online presence. And honestly, I probably, I'm not, I'm not saying I'd be a good candidate for that, but I'm saying, you know what? I'll do my damnedest. We recognize your strength and a little, your strong analytical skills, and would like you to lead a data-driven, to lead data-driven projects. Additionally, we would. Provide training to help you master our in-house tools, allowing you to further enhance your skill set. You would be a key player in our development team, working closely with our designers and project managers. Your ability to translate technical requirements in, into actionable tasks is, will be invaluable. Your innovative problem-solving skills are exactly what we need to tackle our current challenges. We would have you focus on optimizing your processes, directly contributing to our efficient goals. Efficiency goals. Receptions of responses indicate your interview has taken a clear vision of how you will fit into the pro into the team, and how your skills will utilize, be utilized to benefit you and the company. And then how would I rate this GPT? Even though it's my teachers. It's actually pretty solid. It's better than mine. 
And I think it helps that adding please works. I'm going to give this five stars, though. It's a really good GPT. I'll let my teacher know. So, yay. Uh, I think that's all the time I'm going to have for this one. This has been uh, quite fun. This has been, this will be the last, uh, the last part. Come up next. Guess what? It's Sonic Summer. <laughs> uh, these videos need to be uploaded, but yeah, I'll see you guys on June. Okay. Sorry. Till next time. Okay. Ciao.